Hey everyone, we're back for another another little radio video here. And this is another one on the new preview version 2 of SDR Connect. I think I figured out how to get to the things. I don't use it. I, I, I still like SDR Uno and SDR Console better. But hey, this is an evaluation copy. You got to get used to it sometime. And I'm all for learning new software because... When it comes to SDR, I like to be in the know when it comes to software that runs my SDR stuff. I have an SDR Play, RSPDX, and pretty soon I'm going to maybe try and Air Spy HF Plus. And so I can, you know, just so I can. I don't have to explain it, just so I can. But let's see. Let's go here. I don't see anything that can go wrong here. So let's SDR connect. Okay, here we are at the screen that we was on before. And let me start the radio with no sound because I don't want to be distracted on that. Let's just go to WWV. Can you point and click yet? Oh, you can. So they have got the, you can tune by clicking on the waterfall. They have done that. That's pretty cool. That's back. We have recording down here. We now have the diversity thing if you have the duo. The IQ playback if you're doing a recording, I'm assuming. Uh, there's supposed to be some notch filters in here. I have to figure them out yet. Toggle notch filtering. Okay. Okay, then you put the thing right there on your notch. Okay, I get that. That's cool. We can do that. Asymmetric filter, okay, that allows you to drag the filter one side or the other, cool, that's helpful. I like that feature in Uno too. Toggle the pre-filter view, okay, we'll play with that later. Zoom in, zoom out, well that's self-explanatory. Auxiliary display settings, we have the 1024, the rate. Reference level, base spectrum average, waterfall average, waterfall gain. I don't know if this saves your settings if you change it or not. But uh, let's see. Global settings, edit server list. Okay, about SDR connect. And we are at uh, the preview version. And I don't. Does it say what it is? Well, we know it's right up here. Preview 2. Okay, let's okay that out. So it should be right here. Okay, here we go. We do have a bands and keypad. So we have the long wave band, medium wave band, 75. You, well, you can see all that. That's the broadcast bands. All the way down to 11, 13, 15. Well, that's better. They've included those now. Have the hand bands low, hand bands high, broadcast bands, other bands. So I'm going to leave it on broadcast bands because that's what I like. Keypad where you can enter kilohertz or megahertz. So I guess you could do 10 point kilohertz. Okay, whatever. 5 point megahertz. Yeah, we're in the long wave band, apparently. <laughs> okay, well, I've got to figure this out. So, let's go to 49 meters. Okay, well, it sort of frames 49 meters. Okay, that's pretty cool. 49 meters is working. Let's go to Cuba. There we go. Put it on Cuba. So, we got the, we got the bands here. You can select the bands, and you got the keypad here. You can enter that. I'll play with that later. Let's see that. What options we got? Power display, both. Display status. Okay, swap digits. Okay. Audio device. Okay, all this stuff you can play with. I'm looking to see if there's any new features in any of these. AG profile let's go medium I like medium mm, don't really see anything in there control 
We've got your AM upper lower side band, sync, CW, wide FM, narrow FM, filter presets. You got 6K, 8K, 11K, 20K. I can see tuning step. Tuning step is one kilohertz. You can go set that there. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty cool. I just have to, it's nice to have a keypad now. I just got to figure out how they're doing it. Do you put the decimal in or not? I don't know, but that's where that's at. So you can play around with that. So let's, let's see what's this. Spectrum waterfall. Okay, that turns the waterfall off. That turns the waterfall on. And that turns both on. So when it's like this, one click turns it off. One click just has the waterfall only. And the third click brings it both back. Okay. That's cool. So what do we got over here? Display settings. And let's see. Waterfall average, 39. So let's... Uh, okay, a little change. Put it back. I want a waterfall gain. What's that? 64. Yeah, you can tell a little difference there. Yep. Okay, that we know what that does. That's working pretty much. 54. And that, that'll slow it away down so it doesn't give you... A, a seizure when you're looking at it trying to go so fast that's pretty cool the base okay that lowers your base fine that's cool reference level we'll leave that let's see zero what's that do okay that just does that fine yeah okay we'll just leave it like that sample rate antenna a i'm out on antenna a Am I? I'm on the BNC. So that should be C. Yeah. I guess that's BNC in Tennessee. In Tennessee, I'm not in Tennessee. I'm on the antenna port C. Okay. And we'll leave it on C because uh, apparently that's the A, the B, the whatever. System gain, fine. Bias T off. I don't need that. RF notch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's add VRX, no, okay, we don't need that, how do you get that off now, I don't know, <laughs> we'll figure that out, still can't move any of the windows around, but uh, that's okay, they'll get there, like I said, this is just a, a, a preview version version two they're slowly adding to it so um you know it it's going to take time to get there can you move this uh, yeah you can move that make that a little bigger if you want that's pretty cool still hard to see the signal meter but not bad peak rms can't change that one at all. Thought maybe it might show it in S units, but that's fine. S units is over here. No problem there. Here's where you make a recording, and here's where you can do the recording settings. Uh, audio. Source. Uh, use the squelch. All that good stuff thereof. This is where you start to stop your recording. I'm sure you can make these a little wider if you want. Yeah, that's cool. You can increase your spectrum just a little bit to see that better. And that's your zoom, of course, like I said. We went through all this. And, uh, well, yeah, definitely uh, definitely start to improve it. I just got to figure out this uh, keypad thing, how you'd... Because I'm used to, like my Drake and my ICOM 8600, if I wanted to go to 10 megahertz, I would do 10 point enter. And it would take you right to 10 megahertz. But, uh, well, I'll figure this out later. But this is basically the, the you know, they're getting there. I mean, they're definitely making some progress. We got We got the tuning by clicking now, or the keypad. We've added, you know, some of the things here. 
couple more options you know the the notch filters and stuff so it's definitely looking better i will say that i did not care about the the first preview but it was bare bones basically but this this is um it's looking pretty good i mean they're definitely on the right track and i think when um they finally get there i don't know how long it will take them I think it'll be a pretty good piece of software at right now though i still like sdr uno the best because i know that software inside and out i still like sdr console and i will use those two the most but when this as this progresses i will play with this more because it is it is looking better i i i can't say anything bad about sdr connect right now since they just this second preview update has really sort of changed my mind on it from that first one and i yes i know i got a lot of crap you know say oh it's a pre it's a you know a preview version it's this i knew it was a preview version because it says it on the screen but this right here the way it is now for preview two if this had been the first preview version this this version here would have been the first version then I would have really warmed up to it right away. I'm, I'm, I have to say this, I am sort of pleased with what I'm seeing here. I like the color scheme and once I spend an hour or two with it and get really good with it and uh, it, I'm a, I will definitely add this to my list of SDR software that I use. Like, like I said, I, I use SDR console a lot. I use SDR Uno a lot. And I downloaded um, SDR Sharp in case I get that um, AirSpy HF Plus Discovery. But um, my RSP DX, it works good on console and, of course, Uno in this. And uh, But, yeah, this is definitely um, going in the right direction. I can say that. it's, And I know it takes a long time to develop software and stuff. But, yes, if... This is this is definitely very much improved just on this second preview. I mean, it's it's really going to be, I think, pretty nice when as they as they progress and they start adding features and tweaking things and it'll it might even change the look just a little bit and the layout where you can put you know put your little windows in different spots and all that like SDR Uno does and you can lock them together. I mean, that might be coming down the road. But this, uh, yeah, this looks pretty neat. So if you if you use an SDR Play product, definitely try this preview too. Um, don't be like I was and get sort of soured on it from preview one, because I was I was soured on it from preview one. And as I just said before, if they would have had this preview two as the first preview, and if they had come this far and had it for the first preview. That would have been pretty awesome, and it's 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 definitely definitely improving. I I really like it. So if yes, if you have an SDR Play product, you know, yes, SDR Uno is still you know tops, and SDR Console is still tops. But download this and play around with it a little bit, get a feel for it, because I'm a firm believer in if you're into software defined radio which i i'm in a, you know i've got tabletop radios and i've got the sdr uh, but if you have an sdr play product or an sdr that will work with these you know try two or three versions of software it doesn't matter you know you'll have a favorite and but learn them it, it does not hurt to learn new software because you never know you you're you know you can change and you could learn this and this will be my favorite or it may not be but at least you know you're not going into it in the dark so anytime you can learn new software or learn learn anything like that do it because it it, it can be very valuable but anyway i'm right i've rattled on enough and take on you're probably pretty bored by now and i don't blame you i'm bored too so um Anyway, my previous video I did before this one, there should be the link to this in there and also Simon's World Map, which I still haven't installed yet because I got distracted on this. 
but yeah give this a try it's the sdr connect you can see it right up here sdr connect preview 2 and download it give it a try just play around with the settings you're not going to break it every time you change the setting just remember what it was what it was on see what it does when you're playing around with it if you don't like it set it back to where it was go to the next one until you learn it but anyway I, thanks a lot guys for you know kind of setting through this as we stumble through this this was the first time i'd i just installed it well you know and um yeah but definitely the guy to the guys at sdr play uh you're definitely improving it and going in the right direction and it's it's starting to look pretty good and I, I feel pretty good about this new form of sdr connect but what i do like is, a, is that a skull huh. what i do like is when it comes to sdr play they've made sdr connect and sdr uno two separate programs so just because you download this doesn't mean it's going to wipe out your sdr uno you can use either one you want and it'll still save your all of your stuff so yeah this is just two separate programs it doesn't overwrite the other so that's pretty cool so and you know kudos to them on that but yeah all the guys at sdr play definitely improving it going in the right direction looking good and kind of excited to see what's coming down the road on this program so anyway like i said again i've rattled on enough you guys take it easy guys gals fellers fellerettes kids whoever and uh, we'll see you on the next one whenever that is and uh, thanks for staying with me for a little while and uh, happy listening and happy holidays if i don't make another video for a while and thanks to all my subscribers that i've gotten i know you know 700 almost 800 subscribers to me that ain't nothing compared to some channels but to me that's pretty damn cool I think because I don't upload a lot and I just think that's cool. I didn't think I would get that many. So I want to thank all you, everybody that subscribed. And uh, I really appreciate all the, you know, the views and the thumbs up and stuff. And um, yeah, I really thanks. Thanks a lot. I really, you know, it, it's really cool to me. And, uh, but you guys take it easy and we will see you on the next one and happy listening. Take care.